हेलो एवरी वन बेटर कारवारा चैन वी हेव कम फॉर स्टार्ट ऑफ दीस एपिसोड सीरीज कॉल्ड एज पंचाद आज आम कारवार आसा वी आर इन कारवार वी आर स्पीकिंग टू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पर्सनेलिटी हू इन्फ्लुएंस इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कारवार ही इज अ पार्टनर विथ अमृत ग्रुप्स विच रंस रेस्टोरेंट्स हॉटेल्स एंड ज्वेलरीज दे हेव बिजनेस इंटरेस्ट बियॉन्ड दैट ऑल्सो दीस Uh, Bharat that we uh, we have today with us, um, he is someone who uh, whom you can speak to and get a breadth of knowledge. And one of the amazing things today, being the Rajotsa Karnataka Rajotsa, one of the amazing things about him is how deeply he looks at tourism. And we are here to know uh, a little bit more about Bharat and speak a little bit about tourism, Karwar, and uh, everything else. So uh, thank you, Bharat, uh, for being here. Thank you, Pratesh. It's a beautiful introduction that you have put it across about me. uh who wouldn't like the praises or you know um, uh, and uh, it's 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 always beautiful and uh, beyond that uh, as i would introduce myself and you have introduced me uh, correctly i am into the uh, family run business for past 22 years now and beyond that i am little involved with uh, teaching and uh, uh, academically i am connected to a few of the colleges also so but uh, a beautiful introduction actually for uh, everyone here would be uh take us through your life journey uh, where you started uh, how it went oh uh, yes actually got clinged on to the uh, family business is uh, for one uh, some specific reason uh, when i had just finished my engineering after i had done my diploma uh, the engineering got into a boring uh, phase or mode as such and during the uh, you know time of engineering i had two or three subjects that i had uh, uh, backlogs it was very difficult for me to cut through Uh, not because uh, i wouldn't be able to do it just because there was a lack of interest there was absolutely a lack of interest and uh, i was th- there was no moral moral was down so why i am trying to put this moral thing is because uh, in our future talk or when we are putting a little across uh, about our ideas to the next generation it's important that uh, the moral word gets into so my moral was completely moral was completely down because there was uh no uh, vision that i could probably see me as an engineer mm-hmm. and uh, beyond that my interest was somewhere i was trying to get a little uh, uh, connected to literature mm-hmm. um uh, you know uh, anthropology getting interest into talking to people interactions on that that is when i understood ki there is something beyond beyond engineering mm-hmm. because engineering was not actually trying to give me all of this okay okay so in the meanwhile when the subjects were not going through uh, i uh, slowly took an interest towards the business that was existing mm-hmm. and uh, my uncles were already into it my grandfather was there uh, and when i got into the business uh, <coughs> i understood that there is a scope for the development of the business which is existing in the form of the restaurant mm-hmm. i learned a lot from my uncles there is something called as insight learning which i always mm-hmm. uh, put it across uh, you learn things without you getting involved with that particular business or that particular system sometimes mm-hmm. you have an eye for it you look at it you mm-hmm. learn it from inside and one fine day you have learned it to mm-hmm. some extent yes and when you get to know about it you uh, are so confident that you understand that you can do this uh, kind of an you know business or and like this kind of a work in a better format than what your people are doing correct so somewhere correct. i realized that and uh, st- i stuck to the uh, mm. business yes and i had a good support from my family and that's how it went on and on and on mm. definitely i think one of the things uh, that separates people who are really good at something is uh, be able to learn without actually doing and uh, then uh, probably put it together in a way that there is improvements some kind of automation into the yes. system and yes. uh, you know build a system around yeah. it probably yeah. uh, so uh, now uh, one thing that is uh, uh, very close to our hearts is karwar correct so uh, yeah. uh, how has been uh, karwar for you for me everything and anything is karwar because it's only karwar 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 mm. karwar has given me and us everything mm. the businesses that we run are in karwar the uh, living that we the, the standard of living that we have today 
a good one is because of Karwar. Mm -hmm. The kind of an atmosphere and the surroundings that <coughs> we have in here and the kind of blessings that we get is again from the Karwar people. Mm -hmm. So there is no minimalistic doubt that it's it's anything beyond Karwar. Everything is Karwar. That is deep rooted, yeah. no doubt about it. Uh, when I when I came to Karwar and I was quite surprised uh, uh, to look at uh, Karwar being so beautiful because uh, earlier we didn't roam uh, in, and um, that also connects you because you have been into tourism. So uh, take us to uh, you know what you feel about potential of Karwar tourism and uh, broadly uh, Uttar Kannada tourism because you have um, uh, been uh, doing things across this. Yes. Uh, I, uh, when I initially got into the business and slowly uh, as and when the business started growing, uh, as it is a family effort it was, uh, somewhere uh, I got connected to a few of the nicest people uh, in the town, uh, maybe the uh, district industrial corporation, it was, uh, there was uh, some amazing uh, conclaves that used to happen and all mm. that, it mm. had happened once upon a time, where there was a kind of an uh, promotional activity that many people tried doing. Hmm. Uh, so I was a part of DIC where I used to be an uh, official speaker for hmm. the DIC, District Industri Industrial Corporation. And there were two people, Mr. Riker and Mr. Baleri sir, both of them who uh, really tried promoting hmm. me, understanding that I know something about the uh, tourism. That gave me a very good uh, uh, push. Uh, uh, two, uh, coming back to what you had uh, specifically or articulately asked me, it's a beautiful saying by, I'm not able to recollect who put it across, just today morning I was going through it. He says that uh, best things in this world are, are to be felt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Best of the things, so there are the feeling that you get is f a felt, is felt. Mm -hmm. You cannot mm -hmm. see anything. Yeah. Similarly, tourism cannot be seen. It mm. has to be felt. Correct. Correct. Beautifully. Yeah. So let me elaborate this a little bit. Maybe you are in a hustle, a town where which has got a lot of hustle bustle and lot of uh, activities that are going on. But you've got everything around about. You've mm. got everything. Let me say, <laughs> consider one of the um, uh, top cities in India or top. Uh, uh, towns in India, which has got everything. It would have the best of the shopping malls, it would have the best of the um, activities, uh, night uh, activities, or anything you could consider. But still, when there is a lot of hustle bustle that is around a particular human, you cannot feel that particular place. Yes. That's mm -hmm. why there is something called as holiday. There's mm -hmm. something called as outing. Mm -hmm. People would get out from the existing particular place that they live in and they would want to go out no, of their uh, uh, arena or mm -hmm. the uh, regular arena mm -hmm. and explore mm -hmm. the particular place which has got a lot of nature in it. That's just because they want to feel mm -hmm. the nature. Even yes. though in their place they have the nature, mm -hmm. not that they are, but they cannot feel it there. Yes. Uh, but uh, coming back to uh, uh, Karwan tourism and uh, Uttar Kannada tourism, now uh, this aspiration is there always. For travel there is always aspiration. And uh, but the aspiration to come to Uttar Kannada and Karwar, why should that come and then um, how can we leverage it to create yeah. so business opportunities? So Karwar, Uttar Kannada is one of the most beautiful natural resources that we have. Mm. The one side we have the Arabian Sea and then we have the Sayadri Mountains. Okay. Also on the opposite side of the entire rest, Western Ghats, that's the, again the Sayadri Mountains. We got the river Kali and the Arabian yes. Sea meeting. 18 kilometer stretch of estuary. No one has even that kind of an, you know, uh, uh, opportunity to go and have a look at this kind of a big estuary. Mm. 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 One of the biggest estuary yes, is yes, that we have yes, Karwar. Yes, yes. So what more Pritesh can we expect? Tell me. Correct. I mean, Correct. if you ask Definitely. anybody, they would probably not understand it. Hmm. Think, hmm. Uh, hmm. think, hmm. but they are under, 
फ्रॉम इंटरनली खी कि खबर आसा कि कारवारा भर ये आसा ते आसा अशे आसा ते आसा दीस इज बेस्ट अंडरस्टूड वेन यू आस्क अ पर्सन हु हेज लिव्ड इन कारवार फॉर फ्यू इयर्स एंड देन गॉन आउट को भाई वोता कारवार तो एक धा वर्स भाई वो पर कारवार आना ते इम्पैक्ट कि जे कारवार बदल दैट इज वॉट वी हेव टू ट्राय एंड गीव इट टू द अदर पीपल करेक्ट दैट हेज टू बी डन कनेक्टेड क्वेश्चन टू दैट वुड बी दैट देर हेज एंड बीन देर हेज बीन स्टेडी इंक्रीज इन टूरिजम बट टूरिजम इज एंड लुक्ड एट थ्रू एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑपॉर्चुनिटीज नॉर यू नो इकोनॉमी पर्स्पेक्टिव इन अ ह्यूज वे डिस्पाइट उत्तर कन्नडा यू नो हेविंग ऑल एवरीथिंग ओके सो वॉट वॉट डू यू थिंक इज यस सो देर आर सम एडवांटेजेस विच दम सेल्स आर considered as disadvantages the best advantage that uh, we consider sometimes is that we have go on near us the disadvantage itself is that we have go on near us yes. okay yes. advantage itself is an disadvantage yes. i yes. that's this is my favorite sentence mm. which i mm. like to quote this most of the times mm. so, when people want to come and explore karwar they feel that okay we have come in till कारवार हाँ प्रैक्टिकली पुटअप करते कित जाता कि मन हाँ आई सी अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई मीट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई डू नॉट लीव अ सिंगल ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू टॉक टू पीपल बिकॉज आई गेट पीपल फ्रॉम सो मेनी प्लेसेस हू कम टू अमृत हू कम टू अमृत और आई डोंट लिटरली एक भी ऑपॉर्चुनिटी हम सोड़ना तंक उलये क्या मिलेगी पर्स्पेक्टिव अंडरस्टैंड जो मे बी अ पर्सन फ्रॉम अमेरिका मे बी अ पर्सन फ्रॉम दिल्ली फ्रॉम मुंबई गोवा मैंगलोर एनी ऑफ द एरियाज ओरिशा वेस्ट बेंगाल खान बी को ना को जोचाक मेता ना जर रापचा मेता देन आई ट्राय टू टेक द ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरैक्ट विथ दम सो वेन वंस वेन वी इंटरैक्ट विथ दम वी गेट टू नो दैट द कारवार तो जो ते बिजनेस दिवच उरता द कांड ऑफ अ बिजनेस दे वॉन्ट टू गीव टू कारवार दे आर नॉट एबल टू गीव इट टू कारवार बिकॉज देर इज दीस गोवा वीच दे हैव हर्ड बियॉन्ड वॉट दे हैव हर्ड अबाउट लगीत पाल नी कचे हाँ गोवा सोगे बिजनेस कट जो इन अवर इंडस्ट्री इन इन दूरिजम लैंग टूरिजम लैंग्वेज मिनिमम थ्री डेज इज वॉट अ पर्सन और अ फैमिली or a particular couple has to spend in that particular destination correct only then it could be a complete stay destination or it is a complete holiday holiday yeah correct mm. yes so if you are not able to give me 3 days mm. Mm. maybe out of the 3 days that you kept for karwar the 2 days are taken by goa mm. or the one day is taken by mm. some other place i wouldn't probably name that yes. and it could be anywhere correct and then we, we are, are losing the two days correct. two correct. days that correct. are there of the three correct. it cannot become a complete uh, holiday uh, correct so, so for so that what all has to be done is we have to get what is there in the other places these people go to hmm. Hmm. Uh, i may not be able to put it directly in the public domain but there are so many things that we have to understand you and also the government has to understand hmm. and government is doing a lot i'm not saying mm-hmm. that government is doing they are doing trying to do mm-hmm. their level best mm-hmm. and they have invited a lot of people like uh, us who are involved into tourism and every time there is a a new uh, you know office head or the yeah. district head yeah. who comes in mm-hmm. they try to do it not mm-hmm. that and last time there was another uh, young officer mm-hmm. who was into the tourism uh, mm-hmm. and he has done a lot whatever or how much ever mm-hmm. he could mm-hmm. do he could do it but pritesh Along with that, as we say, no, as popularly, tali ek hath se nahi bachti hai. Correct. So one side is the official, and we all who are involved into the mm-hmm. uh, tourism. The other side is who now? You may ask. Other side is yeah, who? The local people who are there in Karwar, or people who are there existing, they should also, to not some extent, by and large, understand that if it is us, then together we can clap the hands, basically. Correct. कल हाँ संगे तो इन्वॉल्व जाओ पे क्या इन्वॉल्व जाते ना और वाय आर दे नॉट गेटिंग इन्वॉल्व इज अगेन अ बीग क्वेश्चन मार्क सो ऑपॉर्चुनिटीज दाखन दिवक तंका दीज टाइप ऑफ पॉडकास्ट पंचाद कंटिन्युअसली जाओ कैंड इट शूड नॉट ओनली हेपन विथ पीपल लाइक अस पीपल हू आर इन्वॉल्व इन द इंडस्ट्री टू सम एक्सटेंट वी आर 
they have to do business also hmm. people have to be involved who are really really not into the business hmm. they ka hmm. ek uh, five years plan hmm. na le ek uh, overview projection Correct. te ami ten dhaken diu cha shakta ta ten hmm. kithe tari development cha hmm. chances asal Correct. so uh, just uh, ek uh, next point uh, ah. in this uh, is does a lack of uh, airport hurt and do, do, uh, how much do you think a uh, airport coming here is going to change <laughs> airport can change the entire dynamics of this place if it would would it if it would be like the uh, goa domestic the right now the or domestic and the defense airport that is at yeah, dabole if something like that is going to be happening here hmm. it will change the dynamics of karwar or there will be a paradigm change 360 turn table change at alam uh, because uh, it will be very easy for uh, because uh, tra- travel connectivity is very very important correct any possible hmm. government who is there would understand that yes. i la- the minute that it comes in and there are some few flights connecting flight that you, know, you see how the things will change correct correct so uh, one thing that we are blessed with karwar is uh, a forest so how do you think uh, that can be leveraged in our uh, tourism growth story by the minute you said for forest i internally got excited <laughs> because uh, everyone uh, as a human being we are a part of the nature and everyone has got these five elements of the nature inside us Sorry. which has to be explored that mm. is a little philosophical uh, yeah. side of it yes. but again philosophy and business and everything runs hand in hand mm. necessarily mm. Mm. so when I, I, I you said mountain i like mountains personally mm. because i always love to uh, see mountains or would want to go to areas where there are mountains one okay. and if i probably would say uh, samudra sea mm. then maybe you are excited maybe he is excited maybe he is excited because yeah. we all as a human being have got those elements and an inclination for these things correct and forest as i understand and as my reading goes beyond mm. whatever kind of a reading mm. that mm. i have done over a period of time forest is one thing that most of them forest and river mm. these are the two things where most of them get connected to no matter what correct uh, see few people like or see few people, because it's again a representation of uh, the roaring element and all of mm-hmm. that calmness everyone likes calmness okay. river and forest for that matter they represent calmness mm. and if karwar has that Mm. calmness that means one it is a blessing for us to the blessing has to be explored mm. and when and how we would want to explore the blessings uh, but is again yeah. a, a question mark uh, um, uh, so uh, but uh, from a vision perspective ah. if you are just uh, will take a small bite on this from a vision perspective what do you think how do you think forest department probably and uh, um, uh, governance uh, in place uh, the government in place uh, businesses and local citizens how they can work together to you know uh, maybe more forest trips uh, maybe nature camps you know how would you propose that dandeli is a number one example for that hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes. because uh, i uh, keep meeting people from dandeli because any kind of an work that the dandeli uh, tourism has it has to be done here in the local uh, district commissioner's okay. office so i meet a lot of people and i have got lot of good friends in dandeli uh, recently i happened to converse with one uh, number one travel agent of uh, dandeli he is not a travel agent anymore he is a big businessman he is uh, he is running beyond what any top businessman in karwar can mm. do he does it with the tourism what he does there is they sell forests what mm. is the meaning of sell selling is one particular word that we use where we say i sell rooms i sell uh, the mm. food it's like yes. they are trying yes. to sell the forest sell the yeah. forest as in they are trying to promote the forest dandeli mm-hmm. is one example where there is a uh, promotion of forest and river these two things actively. are done actively done now yes. coming back to the question that you asked it's a beautifully thought question mm. and we have to really work towards it the tourism department and the see forest forest department is not meant to promote anything correct so But let us distinguish yeah, so forest department can kind of support you yes or the support the tourism industry mm. Mm. towards understanding the forest in a different way correct. where the f- tourism industry has to promote 
uh, actually getting yeah. some tickets and as out of yeah. it. Yeah. So they can probably ask the forest departments to employ the youths who could be by the, given to them by the tourism departments mm. who are mm. interested mm. in, get them into the training, mm. explore the existing for, forest so that the flora and fauna are not disturbed. Yes. Uh, Western uh, Ghats, if I can understand, has got the highest number of uh, uh, species that any of the uh, Ghats has. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, making them uh, educate or making them learn or you know, understand what is there mm -hmm. in these Western Ghats. Mm -hmm. I am sure 90% of the Karwar people wouldn't, wouldn't be knowing know about it. it. Youths are not interested into getting into the tourism. Correct. But as I referred to, Dandeli, every youth is got into the tourism. Every youth is trying to promote Dandeli mm -hmm. as a tourist destination, which makes a lot of difference with so, it. Uh, my, you probably have been doing uh, business with Dandeli for a long time now. Uh, uh, not doing business. Uh, yeah, or uh, at I'm, least having uh, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, so, have you seen the growth of Dandeli as a uh, tourist destination? How was it 25, 30 years uh, like, probably? Uh, Dandeli, I was, to, I'm not able to recollect the figure. I could have got it, but uh, I was told that per day there is no less than, I may be wrong also, I'm not able to, I'm just giving you a, um, uh, guess, fig guess figure what he had put it across to me. Not less than some, uh, he himself does around about uh, uh, 3000 guests per month. 3000 guests per month. Mm -hmm. Minimum 100 guests per day. Huh. But uh, how was Dandeli earlier? And, and uh, yeah, according to him, Dandeli has been explored only 20%. Oh. One top travel guy, if he is doing 3000 guests, Per month, that's 100 rooms per day, at Correct. least average, Correct. on an average. Correct. Maybe 6,000 guests per per mm -hmm. yeah. room, we could consider two people. Yeah. Average 100 rooms per day. The entire Karwar does not do 100 rooms. The entire Karwar, only one person does 100 rooms per day. Uh, just uh, since you uh, put that uh, data forward, how how many rooms do you think entire Karwar does in a day? Karwar? Yeah. Uh, Karwar, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, today if I could say, I, I would, uh, this is kind of an off off season after the long weekend, that is, mm. I'm not sure the entire Karwar, uh, two star and above hotels I would consider, three star, mm. they wouldn't be doing more than 75 rooms or 100 rooms altogether, considering mm. all the uh, three star properties that are there okay. in Karwar. Okay. Okay. Not more than 100. I mean, you could, you could literally after this, we could go and check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I yes, mean, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, that's an important point to note. Because yeah, yeah. These data will have to these change. These data also. and all are ah, very correct. important. The, and coming back to the Dandili, uh, as I referred once again, I'm referring, he says 20% to 30% of the Dandili is just been explored now. Only 20. That is 70% mm -hmm. of Dan mm -hmm. Dandili which has to be explored. So mm -hmm. you see how much of an of an potential comparative mm -hmm. analysis if I do mm -hmm. with Karwar, mm -hmm. you just see how much we could do. We got much more cleaner uh, approach towards the river, towards the sea, towards Correct. the mountain, Correct. towards the forest. Correct. So um, um, just uh, when uh, you you said forests and rivers are two things which actually bring uh, Kali River um, um, runs a long way from here. So. Uh, do you think it, uh, it is not used enough or uh, leveraged enough uh, in terms of tourism? Yeah, see what happens is Pritesh, when, if, when you, the minute you see, say river, when you say forest, these words, they are not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. So there is a uh, Ugamasthan of Kali which is called as Diggi maybe, if I am uh, not able. Diggi mane gaamasa, dandeli. Dandeli chan mukarasto, to bhi disconnect zata. Mm -hmm. You will have to trek and go there. It's not okay. in Dandeli. Okay. So the Ugamasthan of Kali mm -hmm. is another beautiful place for you to explore. Yes, yes. So the yes. area bitter, I think it has been explored by National Geography or Discovery. Mm -hmm. Five years back or two years back, I was going through that particular article. Mm -hmm. So I've read about it. I'm not able to recollect it. But why I am trying to uh, say... Uh, uh, that part, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to quote that is someone from National Geography and Discovery Channel can come and explore that. And, uh, and the people uh, uh, who are there living with it, mm -hmm. who are a part of it, are not aware about what it is. Yes. That is a very sad part. It's uh, it's an irony. So, I'll tell you something interesting. So, yes, yes, please. Um, um, we have a group uh, who, who is uh, interested in the history of uh, Karwar and uh, you know 
I got a chance to be part of it and they they have so much knowledge about uh, how Karwar used to be, how it has traveled. So uh, one day, uh, one fine day, they said there is a 400 year old house in Binga uh, and uh, let's go over there. Four of us went over there and uh, we started looking at the place and um, I think we went about 8.39 uh, and around 10 some students came. Okay. Turns out uh, it's from one of the architecture colleges and a group of 50, 60 had actually traveled to look at the architecture because it is so old. Yeah. And uh, I was like, here students, uh, we might have 4,000 students, they have not been there. So there is, uh, I am a part of the RV college also, mm -hmm. Bangalore. There is a particular discipline called as uh, urban design. Once mm -hmm. after you finish the architecture, there is a uh, master's, that's mm -hmm. the postgraduate uh, program that is called as the urban design. So urban design architecture students come to Karwar and they study all this. I am a part of them also. Mm -hmm. So I have, uh, yeah. So uh, I think uh, that is a good segue into, uh, you know, talking about education and how much, you know, um, so there are multiple stakeholders. So, uh, and you rightly mentioned local citizens. Within citizens, there are th there is this younger crowd, which is just getting out. And when tourism started, it was about going to religious places, going to work probably, and, uh, uh, you know, because some relatives stayed there. Right. But uh, now, now it has expanded and uh, people d uh, do it for leisure, do it for, uh, you know, recreation. Um, so, uh, how do you put this uh, first kida of travel uh, possibly into these young minds and how can education be, uh, system be uh, pushed towards more travel? It's a very, uh, I mean, a nice way to put it. It's a, it's a very beautiful question, in fact. This reminds me of the, the journey that I have come through meeting people, the journey of meeting people, may I put it across. It's not my journey, yes. I'm rather. Uh, initially, uh, let me elaborate this a little yes, bit. Definitely. Initially, when we have seen, when 22, 25 years ago, businesses had a set format. Uh, two months of uh, summer vacations, one month of uh, Dasra vacation, that is October. So, one month October, and two months April and May. That was a 100% set business. During that time, I always try to incorporate or understand the automotive industry, the play, the role of automobile industry into the tourism. Hmm. Hmm. Cars were very expensive and it used to be very much uh, luxury. Hmm. Um, hmm. Uh, mode of transport, car to saukar. A rich man okay. only has got car. When uh, there was this uh, idea where the car was a luxury. Very few people had this particular luxury at that time. And during that time, Kasha Shil Padaya Maja. Ekat Mahinak first Awai Bapai Don Choda, if we consider this as one family. October first Tarithani Kai on Paulara, Bapai on Pawan Vaitashulaparat, Basachara, and Heni Ek Mahin Raptashila. And that's it. And Nantar Ani can you say? Direct Ajil Garaka. April and May. Yeah. Also, the businesses Tashit shape get the shula. We are prepared. October Razail Re. Yes. Business full Lurthala take mine. That's the way you put it. No? Business full Lurthala take mine. Mm -hmm. And then later on, April May. April mm -hmm. May, two months used to be like bang on. Then slowly the automobiles started the cheaper automobiles and it became more affordable, may I say so. Maruti mm -hmm. Maruti. So everybody started buying Maruti car and cars became so. So, so much, uh, you know, easily affordable and mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Then the trend of the long weekend started coming. Mm -hmm. Saturday, ka raza sa, Saturday, Sunday, don't do it. Monday, raza sa, the Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. So, mm -hmm. people started traveling only during those phases. And now it is the trend of the long weekend, basically. Yes, so, tashi, tashi, tashi. Uh, change yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Everything has started changing. And yeah, for me, yeah. as I have understood, automobiles also have contributed a lot to the changing mm. of the yeah, tourism, tourism industry. Obviously, um, being 
able to access the place hi 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 at lok nantara at youth model ma the question was like yeah. youth yeah. so now bullet sale bike sale biker uh, groups ali yeah. all of these things yes. happened there were imported bikes became accessible yeah. now again there is a class uh, bullet kona uh, avarta tengil ek group asa then the foreign bikes tengil ek group asa then another the regular bikers who are there yeah. so all these try to explore various things and mm. if we can collect gather all of them and try to inculcate them with our youth mm. or try mm. to make them interact with our youth with all the social media and exactly. probabilities are there that this particular place can grow mm. but come how will it still grow mm. now as i had referred to you a little while ago that there are there are very few rooms in karwar and also if there are rooms there is no much business why will i invest correct correct so that so, is again a point so basically. is it possible that it should be more to probably eco places uh, that kind of more because i'll try to get you into a discussion yeah. uh, i think i have traveled most of yeah. india and i have found that uh, india is beautiful everywhere everywhere you go and it's different kind of beauty we have our own uh, magic place uh, called tilmati uh, which is the black sand beach it is a very rare phenomena uh, yes. uh, black sand and uh, we are one of the lucky ones to have it i have think it. one of uh, four uh, on the west coast yes, yes. to have it do you think uh, uh, while we were talking about education scenario every student has to mandatorily you know in uh, put in some system go to uh, places like tilmati and then businesses like yours or businesses around karwar can actually build on it to make tilmati a, a famous destination something like that uh would yeah. that help yes yes it it would the, again only tilmati per se i don't think because uh, uh, if it had to happen by now it would have happened mm -hmm. because people many of them know about tilmati correct not that they do correct. not know but correct. there is uh, no support system that okay now let me see if you go to tilmali tilmati this morning you have to bloody carry everything and go there correct also today when i had been there when i was small i am almost uh, maybe 47 now hmm. so when i was uh, 10 years i had been there 37 years ago the we we had to travel also today after 37 years we have to travel in the similar format okay so okay. if anything should have happened it would have happened why is it not happening is a question correct definitely correct why is it a, not happening it's a natural disaster. there is no infrastructure that is there there, is, there are no toilets that anyone can use there around about there are no simple simple sada shop na te kai tari na ta for chukun ratri overnight if i need to stay i have got nothing there correct so you are restricted correct. automatically you are restricted mm -hmm. so the minute there is a restriction put on anything that, that might not grow commercially it might be your your point of interest your hmm. uh, interest to ko chunyan pale ne ka tu achun eta but if it has to go krama commercially as we are talking there are so many things that has to be developed around about that completely agree a lot of things have to come so in. many things are and why is it still not happening because yes of course we are not as karwari is not taking interest into developing that as a as a businessman you and maybe i also could have had contributed something but again there is a question mark why will i contribute what will happen those things that some small greed factor when it comes into my mind things will not happen for okay. that we have to first see we are human beings we are greedy and we should understand at what given point mm. of time are we greedy okay. somewhere if we remove that and take it out no mm -hmm. then uh, possibilities are that there okay. पण कारवारासाठी जर त्राप्तलो आपणाला चला हा कारवारात दवरतो पण सांगशील कित लोक असत आपणाच्या ओरडांना चिक्का आणि कारवारात राबका वेन दॅट माइंडसेट विल कम इन द कारवार विल ग्रो आउट ऍज अ टुरिझम डेस्टिनेशन वन मोर थिंग आय लॅड टू इट कुर्ग वेन एव्हर आय गो टू कुर्ग और चिकमंगळूर और गोवा द डिफरन्स बिटवीन कुर्ग चिकमंगळूर अँड गोवा अँड कारवार ऍज अ डेस्टिनेशन इज लोकल पीपल आर नॉट इन sink and support yes. those kurga bitar every single person understands that a car from outside that comes in is mm. contributing to my living correct he understands that correct that has to be understood town person the person in that town understands that everybody as a tourist who comes in is contributing to my income okay I completely agreed with that. I think uh, since we spoke about Tilmati, yeah. another place I uh, absolutely love is uh, Goodali. 
So, yeah. uh, have you been there? I have been there long time ago hmm. when hmm. there were no proper roads and all. And I, now I have heard that there are uh, there are some proper. Uh, again, you know, even though there is a development that has happened, why is it not being explored to a by and large extent? Correct. That is again a question. Correct. I recently heard uh, uh, Advocate Anirudh uh, mm-hmm. Aldipur spoke about uh, so many things about uh, the existence of Karwar and all of that. He's put it across so beautifully very well. Yeah. So there are some uh, big points that we could take from that also. Yeah. And we can you know, put it across uh, towards the people. Yeah. And those type of people, people like you, people like me, people like, um, uh, you know, so many, so many, so many other people who understand Karwar. The people are grounded, mm, yes. fundamentally, Correct. you know, are grounded, must come together. Unless and until we come together, nothing will happen. Yes. So, I, I'll, I'll take you to uh, uh, a topic of your interest. And uh, <laughs> I know you are in love with food. So, uh, tell me about uh, Karwar food. There is an outsider coming in. What would be the food? And then, what do you think about Karwari speciality as a cuisine going out uh, to, to the world? Karwar, uh, see, um, um, again, food is uh, a con- again a subjective topic. Every destination has got its own um, culture that goes into the food, Correct. the love that goes Correct. into the food, uh, geographical support which hmm. that particular food represents. Correct. Maybe in Karwar, fish, of course. In fish, there are so many uh, seafood preparations that we know. You Tulhanastana chan khawan gyo na te urtalo. So, tisri urtale, kal urtale, fish abitra ele ram bedonji urta tangam gile, nagli melta, palu melta, palu melar. There are five different snappers that are there. Hmm. So, thode elaborate karchi madlaram. Karwar, as I referred, is in one of the biggest estuary. What happens is, whenever there is a river and sea meets, Hmm. There is a big time current that is for which yes. get generated. There. Yes. When there is a current, what happens? The sand or the land that is there that gets excavated naturally. Hmm. When the excavation happens, the depth is formed. Correct. When there is a depth that is formed, the fish that is prawns, oysters, seashells, Correct. on the kind of fish like the uh, lady fish, uh, then the snappers, they hmm. all that are there, they are not being disturbed. Correct. Because of the depth that is formed. Yeah. One is the ecological system there is maintained. Hmm. Two, the food that get, comes into the particular water gets precipitated. Hmm. So the feeding, the feed that they get, natural feed, is awesome. So, and uh, then yeah. water, the salinity, was what we call it as the balance of the river and the uh, that's the salt and the uh, river water. Mm, mm. Sweet and the salt water is maintained there. Okay. So, kind of a fish that we have here, uh, the f- taste that the fish has, has got a different kind of an uh, emission into it, basically. So, yeah. So, mm-hmm. that once it comes out, the those, the particular masala, sata, ek shipi manta tamin. Ek shipi manta ke. Once you break the tisra, seashell that you get, ek shipi bitter tek davar tat. That is kept in one shipi. Mm. And that it is being cooked. Oh, oh. So that is called as ekshipi. Then uh-huh. uh, kit kit hai chhe. Ata murta bhi tarang bangda kit kit hai chhe manurta. Kit cat manta mein thakar. Uh-huh. Bangdi dawar ta ta. Butte to bhi tarvi put a lot of spices and lot of you know things and that holu dam marta ta. Then antar kiti 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 awaz hai thakar. Then kamy kit kit hai chhe manta ta. That that was referred to as kit cat. Even before the kit cat chocolate was there. Oh, Actually, yeah. yeah. And antar na tisra chhe jo stock hai ta. Hmm. So, hang lo, kayon, I love it. Once you boil the tisra, the uh, stock at the uda eta, the tuna complete ami shi jo chata. Main course, we can you know, hmm. use it as a main course. Hmm. All these things are the carver thing. This has to be categorically promoted. Correct. How do you promote it? It's again a, a big subject. Uh, different yeah, yeah. It's, it's a different. So, uh, um, uh, just the thing that I wanted to add was. Uh, um, I was talking to a, a professor from marine engineering and I realized that um, Karwar is one of the uh, largest uh, mackerel zones uh, in uh, in Asia. Yeah, yeah. And um, we have about 200 types of uh, mackerels. Correct. So, uh, that was quite interesting. Uh, so, um, uh, now we have spoken about food. Uh, you also mentioned uh, you are connected with a lot of educational institutions. Yes, yes, and, uh, I am. Uh, so, um, tell us something about what you do. Uh, I am actually also the best of the uh, educational institute that I am connected with is Birla Institute of Management Technology, BIMTech. 
there is a big time story that goes uh, how I became a um, you know part of that particular institute and all that. But I, I wouldn't be able to put it here. We can connect to those type of mm -hmm. colleges. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a process. Someone has to yeah. completely get it yourself into that particular profession. Yes. It, 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 it cannot happen as a part-time. No, definitely. So, no, uh, my question was more on the lines of uh, the kind of institutes you are connected with, the role you play. I, one is uh, the uh, local polytechnic college that I am uh, involved with. I am uh, a guest faculty there. Okay. I love to interact yeah. with the students. Uh, yeah. As far as the engineering uh, subject is concerned, I am a part of it. Mm -hmm. Then uh, just before a few days ago, I was uh, also a part of the uh, NBA that is called the National Bureau of Accreditation. Okay. I was uh, involved in it. I happened to meet a lot of nice people, mm -hmm. a lot of um, people with uh, a lot of understanding about the uh, uh, universe. I always say that mm -hmm. because uh, knowledge is a part of the universe as it is. And the minute you understand the uh, philosophy, of this universe, you understand a lot of things. You don't have to understand uh, only the uh, confined subjects like the engineering mm. or maybe the uh, architecture or maybe the uh, sociology. I don't believe in all mm. of that. Mm. A person who understands the knowledge of the universe will understand all these things very easily. Uh, you must be interacting with a lot of students. And yes, I I'm do. Sure. And, uh, um, I'm sure that, that sometimes there are some interesting that you observe questions maybe you take. So anything uh, yeah, that you would be I'll tell you are very, very interesting. I, when I initially started teaching with the Polytechnic College, three months I just went on and on and on and uh, one fine day one a student, uh, he stood up there and he said, Sir, I want to ask you a good question. I mean, he never said good question. I felt it was a good question. Uh, and I said, yes, please. He said, three months, whatever you have taught to us in English, I have not understood it at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, so then uh, I was like, I had to rethink about myself. I, I understood that uh, why I am trying to quote this is making someone understand a subject like the way they want to understand is very important. Correct. I used to just go on and on and you know, I used to simply go on in English, I used to teach them ki, uh, achha, the chemical energy gets converted into the mechanical energy, here uh, you know, energy, uh, motion gets converted into the rotary, these, that, blee, blah, blah. Poor thing, the students were not able to understand. Okay. So similarly, also in a, when we are talking about tourism, we have to make people and student understand hmm. what hmm tourism is in the language or in the way that they want to understand. Mm. That is when the leaders will have importance. Mm. If you want to take that leadership quality, we'll have to put it across to the way they understand it and they, the way they want to understand it. Yes. Think interest to tell paish kamai chale or maybe they want to set up a, ek maha monthly pocket money or 5000 I want. Mm. So how can you get that 5000 rupees from tourism mm. has to be put it across to them. Okay. Even moving away from tourism and looking at the broader education, uh, educational setup point of view, uh, what have you observed in uh, Karwar? I had uh, last time, I believe it was, I'm not able to recollect what uh, kind of a conclave that was. I was literally trying to pitch uh, to the uh, tourism, uh, tourism uh, department in the government asking them to get the best of the ho hotel management colleges in Karwar. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Once you have one extraordinary or the best hotel management college in Karwar, mm. which is world class. I'm okay. not saying, I'm not, not specifically any thing. class, I'm saying world class. Correct. If you try to do that, mm. see the kind of a change that will have. And mm. then parallelly, airport that will be there. Or mm. these two, three things that would make a lot of university or hotel or the tourism university, if they think about in a place like Karwar, yes. it will be great. Even today also, on the day of the uh, Rajyotsava, I would really want to appeal through you uh, to the leaders that if they could get a world class tourism or a hotel management college or an university in Karwar, it would be lovely. I hope someone is listening. I wish, <laughs> I really, really hope. Yes. We, have, I have, we have tried uh, appealing, I have got this much of uh, you know, material with me, mm -hmm. uh, where there is a lot of proposal that has happened on and often. I think we have touched a lot of aspects yes, uh, from yes. our tourism yeah. or education or entrepreneurship. We we went through a difficult phase um, mm. uh, during COVID, COVID and yeah, I think yeah. uh, it was a uh, personal uh, and professional level also, uh, everyone was affected. Yeah. So how did it as affect uh, business in Karwar per se and uh, I think personally how was it? The damage has been done, Pritesh, uh, to a very, very large extent. 
and mm. for us to take that dent away or remove the dent out like how you pull it out from an you know mm. car the dent padi lorta it will take a lot of time for us to you know get get back get that back to the shape because there is such a kind of an impact that is been uh, put mm. and people who have survived are survived and they will survive ever mm. forever mm. Mm. there's no question and and if you go through the survey that last 6 uh, or 8 months back i was with one uh, officer from mm. the tourism mm. uh, department an mm. amazing officer as such and he was trying to give me a data as in how many small businesses are thrown out of business so and it was a rampage too much too much i mean yeah. if you uh, i do not know i mean you know the kind of an contingency funds that you have to maintain for towards running a business uh, you have to be extremely careful into taking uh, advances or loans now the yeah. next generation yeah. should understand all that because yeah. ultimately it is the tax payers money yeah. Yeah. whatever it is the loan that you take yeah. into increasing the business is again yeah. tax payers yeah. money so the loan the borrowing that yeah. is done whatever happens is again it's your yeah. pocket my pocket his pocket his pocket Correct. it comes from there Correct. Correct. so we are not entitled to knock it and throw it Correct. just because someone can bear the brunt someone has to bear the brunt basically Correct. it could Correct. be you or you so Correct. we have to understand Correct. those fundamentals the basics Correct. so uh for that we have to be very careful this type of knowledge hmm. in depth again uh, fundamental knowledge see what happens he ki jatale he jan jalar he ka jatale he kashe jatale how will this happen matlab okay. uh, vicious chain hmm. all hmm. these things in the businesses hmm. are hmm. vicious cycle hota yes business jalar if the business happens then the money comes in if there is a money comes in you could maintain the business yes. so all that it's you know a, if it does hey i wish it becomes wish so he sagle and entrepreneurs who are coming into the business thing that can do for the business so one more interesting thing uh, i came across um, a few months back was uh, some villagers from kadwad went to the dc and asked uh, the area in kadwad uh, bhoviwada uh, into a eco ma- uh, mangrove forest oh wow okay. um, uh, at least a park uh, something like ah, that okay. so uh, that i felt was something uh, had you heard about no, no, it no, no, and uh, no, 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 what would you feel it. about something no no no, like no i have not heard about it but mangrove yes mangrove there are 27 different types of mangroves what i heard mm. in this uh, area mm-hmm. and kadwad is where we also belong to um, oh, yes. uh, we are from kadwad it could be a very good proposal mm. yes uh, because what happens is uh, if you go to uh, uh, bombay there is something called as uh, bandstand Uh, and the mangroves are preserved there with some beautiful uh, lights and isagil bitar there all yes. of that could be done but the its pop the population is different the mindset is different hangate kelar hangchante khali mangrove padecha hoytale ki na it's again uh, debatable basically Correct. but it's a good idea and uh, a beautiful place kadwad bridge is a beautiful I place i love kadwad yes. it's a stress buster for me yes i Definitely. go there and uh, so um, i think uh, um, just to cap this off i think uh, we have had a broad discussion on a lot of topics but uh, being a rajotsav uh, being someone who is closely associated with the tourism industry and uh, um, seeing the interrelationship between businesses governance and uh, common people what would be you your message be to uh, karwar and karnataka on rajotsav I, what i feel is like uh, every day should be a rajotsava rajotsava uh, it should not be that only one day of course i mean we could celebrate that day, that day but what i am trying to make a point is like every day must be a kind of an festive kind of a day <laughs> so if that happens no yes. uh, it will be maja fun basically <laughs> every day there should be right. there should be a little you know activities happening every day people should be involved every day there should be something happening that Correct. is what my uh, dream about this place is Correct. one more thing i want to stress about the uh, karwar uh, as in karwar is um, uh, karwar sleeps very soon by 7:38 there are no activities happening okay. so last time when there was a meeting which happened at the dc office i had put it across that uh, after 8:30 there should be some activities that should happen okay. activities as in uh, there should be some you know playground that should be there open where which had mm. some i have some real strong flood lights where okay. people sh- activity because see, when if you, uh, in a hotel if let us consider amrutara uh, people would start from uh, bangalore maybe by 8 8:30 it's an average time that they start in the morning okay. and by the time they reach here it's around about 6 
by the yeah. time they come to the room mm. four people if we consider they get fresh mm. by the time they want to get over 7:30 mm. so mm. 7:30 the town is dead correct so there should be some activities like maybe my appeal once again is uh, uh, you have this uh, rock garden correct. the rock garden a time thode vadayka and yeah he sagle asad ne that it should be open till 10 10:30 Probably that, that stretch can be utilized yeah, also. Yeah, all that one, that also the main road. Yeah. We can even in the evening tell people, Kichal, go hang around. It's mm-hmm. a safe mm-hmm. place. That I think be beach is the only place where you find... At right now, beach, beach, again the people are... It should be made so safe heaven mm. that uh, people should blindly walk in there and you know spend some good time and all. If yeah, that happens, yeah. it will be great. I completely agree. I completely agree. I, 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 I very much concur with that <laughs> because after 7.30, everything is quiet. And when you... Uh, contrasted to a place you like are Mumbai. a software engineer yeah. your your activities yes. i mean uh, let me put it to the public uh, the, the, the kind of a brilliance that I, that you have the kind of a knowledge that you have uh, i have uh, rarely or seldom seen it in many of uh, the people so around because that is also see it's only me portray getting portrayed is not important <laughs> <laughs> so the the whole idea me agreeing to uh, Uh, interact with you is like because the kind of a um, super brains that you have the kind of a grasping that you have the kind of an work the ground work that you have done so we want people like you pritesh mm-hmm. because people uh, you are not even aware that what you have done the kind of an 2 3 years of hard work that you have put into think, uh, trying uh, to pull that uh, this enough, place to anyway, yeah. yeah no no the uh, efforts are there no yes when yeah. today also you are trying to put in one effort only now yeah. when you are trying to get <laughs> me and making me talk in front of uh, you know so many people Definitely. there's an effort that you are trying Definitely. to do so the efforts are on so yes. people should know that also so when they know that they will uh, have an o- opportunity towards approaching you mm-hmm. yes no completely <laughs> agree uh, that's fine i think i have been lucky in karwar to meet a lot of interesting people uh, there are across no? age ranges there are a lot there of are. Them. so lot who of would them. know it better than because yes. i have not uh, uh, met the magil ex ex set of uh, low kurtale but the people whom i have met i think are from okay. and you gone yeah. deep into all of them basically uh, Um, but because uh, i've seen you with many many of the people akarwar uh, has been i think uh, from this uh, interaction perspective it has been an amazing experience because when you live in the cities the lifestyle is different i mean you don't know anybody to aa gharakin chan gadar janna bahar sarta at least i meet five people by the time i am back from uh, uh, market <laughs> yeah, bombay you can travel for fires but you will not meet anyone who will say hi to you yes. so i think uh, uh, karwar has taught me a lot uh, meeting people like you has um, opened me up ek the ani second matlab a lot of people who have done uh, f- good you know at the national level i think i can just name atang bashil kadenat ma ke ek pandar naam hai ucha lagla mata pita but i wouldn't be able to put it in the public domain because again uh, you yeah, know for definitely. its own reason but if you just see every one is from karwar kare maximum of them of who are people. there yes. the reach there maximum of them are from karwar yes. and that is something that you can be super proud that about that is definitely that. i can yes. say yeah, yeah, so yeah. many of them and karwar has so a many lot industrialists of from karwar um, who have got uh, yeah. top class industry and um, uh, i mean uh, even beyond industry you know even if you see talent uh, in youth in karwar the, it is beautiful uh, if you are on um, instagram i am sure you are yeah, on yeah, instagram yeah i am uh, very is, active on yeah. instagram but i am there so uh, um, okay so i think uh, let us go yeah. towards the rapid fire yeah. uh, favorite destination in india goa one local food item uh, that you think everyone coming to karwar should taste ambusti curry jo manta ne jirmire jirmire ambat okay what makes you get up and go to work oh, i am uh, extremely passionate about uh, meeting people and talking to them that excites me a lot Uh, one thing uh, that your day is incomplete without uh, without talking to people <laughs> what karwar means people. to you in one word karwar means everything to me uh, the god uh, the uh, everything i mean uh, for me karwar is my love one quote that has made a greatest impact on you uh, something is uh, better than nothing and uh, beautiful and uh, uh, one one book that you will recommend alchemist before you not complete the <laughs> question alchemist is something that people have to read if i could elaborate a little about it alchemist tells you again i'll relate a little karwar because people from karwar leave karwar and go to so many other places to find their destination so alchemist is something about that alchemist is uh, uh, 
um, about one person called as San Diego, the uh, protagonist, mm -hmm. where uh, he dreams about treasure and uh, he goes finding it. He travels the entire world and ultimately last he understands that uh, the treasure is where he used right. to sleep daily. Because the one thing that is not seen is the ceiling or the roof. It was there. I mean, he does not see the roof and one point then he realizes it is there. The deeper meaning for this particular book is all about saying that you don't have to go places to find or it's, it's your where success. You, you That's, the success could be uh, where you are. Yes. And uh, I, I find that book amazing. I mean, I've read uh, it seven times. Uh, and, uh, 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 yeah, seriously. Yeah, just so, to understand the, uh, uh, you know, the enlightenment part of it. Yeah. Paulo Coelho is a master. Coelho, I think uh, uh, one, one of the things that I love about that book is, uh, so there is this word uh, in that book called Maktub. Uh, it, yeah. is, it is meant, it is meant to be. Uh, meant to be. And um, it's a story of his journey. Uh, he finds treasure under his feet. But he had to go all the way yes, to I was about to the come experience there. to, uh, to come, yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, the, I was about to tell you that there are a lot of uh, perspectives that you could get from them. Yes, so, yes. one perspective is what I have told you. Second perspective is he had to go, he meets so many. And the other very important thing, the name of the book is, Alchemist is what? A person who, it's a skill, alchemy, where a ordinary metal can be converted into extraordinary metal. Yes. But in that book, if there is some a mentor who comes into my life and he changes my life from an ordinary human being to an extraordinary human being, hmm. then that person is an alchemist. My Definitely. mentor is an alchemist. Definitely. So that is how this book is. That's what it portrays. So, so actually, the next question to you is, who is that one mentor? You uh, Vital Kamath. Uh, <laughs> if you could tell. Yeah, Vital Kamath, sir, I met him in 2007. My grandfather um, uh, introduced me to him. Mm -hmm. And the minute I met him, I became an extraordinary big fan of his and he took me uh, as, uh, me as his uh, disciple and uh, he was my mentor. That, that, that was the kind of a relationship. Mittal Kamath sir uh, is uh, the author of Idli Orchid and Willpower mm -hmm. uh, and he is the CMD, uh, Chairman Managing Director of uh, Kamath Hotels India Limited, mm -hmm. Orchid Mumbai which uh, a lot of places that they operate and for me personally I have learnt a lot from him hmm. personally a lot from him yes. uh, and my mom has influenced me my mom's a PhD uh, in uh, research methodology okay. a very uh, open critic she is <laughs> a little uh, <laughs> you get a little uh, worried to talk to her that kind <laughs> of a person like so these type of people around about have kind of uh, influenced us my all my three uncles, Nandan, Sudan, Chetan, hmm. um, uh, they have mentored me without mentoring me. Um, very brilliant uh, brains, understanding the human life and human nature. They okay. are the they are those hmm. type of people. And learning, every minute learning is what I do from them. You, yeah. you be with them and you learn so much from them. And their critic okay. is extraordinary critics they are. But Ultimately, they love me mm -hmm. because I'm a part of them. <laughs> they, are also, they are also aware about it and even I am aware yeah. about it. Whatever I am today, whatever it is, I'm because of them, beyond yeah. anybody. Yes. The rest of the things they follow in life and the way you take it. Yes. But these are the people who have fed us. Yes. And you just made us grow. Yes. You know, given a part of their love to me, mm. which could mm. not be forgotten anytime. <laughs> yes, beautiful. So. Uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for people like you, uh, whom we you know often <laughs> meet, and uh, we happen to meet good people when we are good internally. So that definitely, this goes with you, me, with him, with everybody. Definitely, it's all uh, time. This this was uh, extraordinary because uh, this is the first time we are shooting <laughs> this uh, panchad. I, I'm, I'm being and a part of it itself is a big thing for me. And I love uh, to talk. yeah, the idea was uh, to to bring people like you um, who understand things. Uh, understand ideas, understand people, uh, to come together and build a better city, yeah, yeah, uh, a yeah, city yeah, which yeah. is socially, economically yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, better. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, thank you so much for being a part of this. My it pleasure. Thanks pleasure. for inviting me, Arbhita. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's always a pleasure, basically. Thank you. Thank you so Take much. Care. Yes. God bless.